Ever since ANZ became a member of the Financial Task Force of the United for Wildlife, we have been raising awareness internally on how we can combat this crime. We, um, we have been doing a lot of trainings. We even have our own website where we are always updated on what's been happening within the IWD uh, uh, space. So um, we also do partnership with both public and private institutions and um, media monitoring is also a source of our information because this is uh, also where we can incorporate keywords into our filter screening. So it will trigger for us an investigation in case there are some words that are um, that would, we would come across that might be considered or might be involved in illegal wildlife trading. And also one other thing that's really important is leveraging on your existing controls such as trade-based money laundering and other transaction monitoring. Those are the information that you could gather and tweak probably the detection scenarios to ensure that it will cover what, it, what you're looking for in illegal wildlife trading. I have plenty, but I'll, I'll, I'll stick to top three. I think the first one is raising awareness. Um, to be honest, um, personally, uh, more than two years ago when AZ became a member of the financial uh, task force, I didn't really know much about it. But when we started having information training, the more I learned about it, the more I feel that I really want to be a part of this. So I raised my hand and, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking that even in my small little way, just, just volunteering to be an illegal wildlife trade champion with an ANZ would help. So definitely awareness, because at that time, I had no idea the magnitude of the, the, the impact of IWT and also what's the important role of financial institutions. So that's definitely number one, is raising awareness to, to, uh, to internally in, within the financial institutions. And then the other one is I mentioned this earlier, which is leveraging on your existing controls. Uh, I mentioned about TBML because it's not all the time that when a new typology emerges that we have all the resources uh, right away to create detection scenarios. But what, you, what, what we currently have, as I've mentioned, you can tweak it and, 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 and as you go along, you learn how, how you can better tackle it. And last but not the least, and I cannot stress the importance of the public-private partnership because this is, this is where you get valuable insights. This is where you're able to contribute. And um, I think those are the top three key takeaways for me.